This is just a quick demonstration on how to remove a late model Volkswagen grill emblem. So this is from a Mark V Jetta, um, but I know this um, attaching mechanism has been used on other late model Volkswagens as well. So the first step is I'm going to flip the grill over um, and show you the attaching points. This is the back view of the emblem um, and the grill assembly. And what you'll quickly notice is there's three clips, three attachment points. And these are kind of different than what you normally experience when you're dealing with, especially like plastic uh, center caps and things like that, when they clip into something. Because usually it's a barbed plastic clip, which is actually everywhere else on here, you know, like here and whatnot. Um, Usually it's a barbed plastic clip that uh, as you push it into the wherever it's fastening, they compress and then they clip in because of the due to the springiness of the plastic. And then the way you remove them is you usually compress the barbs and remove the part. This is almost the exact opposite of that in that the uh, in order to remove these, you actually have to expand them. So if you take a closer look at what we're dealing with here, um, this is the clip and there's this outside edge of the clip and you see to the right of the clip there's this like surface right here this arcing like ramp um, so the way these clips come off is you have to expand you have to actually stretch the clip and you can see how flexible it is and get it that top edge to go over this point and basically slide down this ramp so we have to expand all the clips and then rotate the emblem to the right and that's what releases it so it's a pretty simple thing to do you just have to understand how it works and then you can do it so I'm just gonna apply with one finger pressure to the to the emblem this clip is part of the emblem right so I'm trying to basically rotate the clip right the the emblem to the clockwise right here and it won't go because it's literally hitting this little surface and you can see there's one here and one over here as well, right? So all that I'm gonna do is come in here with a little screwdriver and expand the clip while I'm trying to rotate it to the right, okay? And you can see, see how it's staying open? It's because it just caught the top edge of that. And now when I go to the second one, I'm gonna expand and I'm still pushing with this finger here clockwise. So I'm gonna expand this clip and catch the top edge of that ramp. And then I'm gonna come in for the third one and now the whole assembly rotates. And it's gonna rotate into where there's a relief cut for each of these clips, a larger relief. And there it goes. Okay, so there it is. And you can see what I was talking about. These are those, these things. So these had to be stretched out and then the whole assembly rotated over these surfaces. To reattach it, super simple. So I'm gonna flip the grill back over and basically there's the three clips, right? The three clips, the three barbs, and these three larger notches here. So we're gonna put the emblem in, kind of like rotate it at the 11 o'clock position and it fit right into those larger notches and then just rotate it back to the 12 o'clock position and you should, should hear it clip. Ready? So it's still loose, but watch. Done. And that's how these um, emblems attach to these late model Volkswagen grills.